As we see more and more businesses adopting cloud computing, and in particular Microsoft Azure, it's important to understand the shared responsibility model when it comes to your data. The data is your responsibility and you need to protect it. Hey, I'm Michael from Veeam. We've put together a series of short form video demos walking through the day two operations when it comes to protecting and restoring data in Microsoft Azure. In this demo, we're going to deploy Veeam Backup for Microsoft Azure. The first thing that we need is some cloud credentials. I've already added mine in, but as you can see here, we've added our Azure compute account. Simply add, go through that deployment type, account type, and the subscription, and that'll be added. Next up, we're going to add in that backup infrastructure. So we're going to go add server. We're going to choose our cloud native appliance. We're going to choose Microsoft Azure. Now we can choose to go to a, an existing appliance or to a new one, new one in this this case. And then we're going to choose that compute account that we just added. We can add it here as well, if, if you so wish. Then we're going to choose our subscription. We're going to choose our data center. I'm going to be using UK South for the entirety of these this demo series. And then finally, we're going to choose a resource group. We can create a new one, or we can use one that I've already pre-created with all of my resources in. Just going to check and make sure that we can do what we're going to do. We're going to provide a name for our appliance that we're going to deploy inside of that resource group and subscription. We can also choose the VM size that we wish that machine to look like. I'm going to use the, the default. Now some networking. I'm going to use the public IP. This warning is saying about my quota limit for public IPs in my account. Some more networking. We can choose a virtual network that we've already pre-created or create a new one. Same for networks, same for security groups. And in this instance, I'm going to create a new security group. And then you can see what that server IP address looks like below. Again, this is just going to give you a warning to say that traffic is not allowed for the specified IP address. We should add some sort of inbound security rule to the selected network security group. So again, I'm saying create new and they will do me, do it all for me, but obviously more in depth, you'll have to consider that. This credential is so that you can access your Veeam backup for Microsoft Azure appliance, and we'll use this shortly. And then underneath this, you've got your key pair. So a, bring your own key pair, create your new one here, use an existing, etc. And then we speed through this very quickly. It takes about 10 minutes. This is all going to depend on connectivity and what you've got available to you. Doesn't take very long though. That tick box, we're going to get to that later on down the line in this demo series, but that's it. We're now deployed and we can go and access that using the open console. We've clearly also got a forward facing IP that will give us access to that if the security has been defined that way. And here we see our, our Veeam backup for Microsoft Azure and that overview page. So at this point, we're fully configured and we're ready to get going. As you can see, it's super simple to get started on your journey to protecting your Microsoft Azure resources with Veeam. Keep an eye out for additional demos where we cover configuration, protecting virtual machines, Azure SQL, Cosmos DB and more.